Hi there, my name is Victoria and in this video I will cover 15 essential SEO tips to drive your website's traffic. I'm sure you have used Google once or twice to find information. You also should have noticed that the results are separated into pages, usually 10 results per page excluding ads. We in the industry call these search engine result pages or SERPs for short. Implementing search engine optimization practices allows your website to be in the first page of SERPs, which is very important to drive higher traffic. Paying attention to SEO has several other positive effects, such as increased brand credibility, improved user experience, and cost reduction to generate leads and sales. That's why it's highly encouraged to prioritize SEO for your online marketing strategy. Remember that creating an SEO-friendly website can't happen overnight. You must put in extra work due to frequent algorithm updates and changes. If you're just starting, improving your rankings will take some time, but don't worry. It it's not as hard as you think. Let's look at our 15 practical and time-proven SEO tips to increase your website's traffic. When writing content, use relevant keywords to help search engines understand what your website is about and get these by conducting keyword research. Search your main keyword on the search engine and find other related terms within the results. For example, if you search for furniture, you will see other keywords like furniture stores or furniture rental. Consider using tools like Google Trends and Ahrefs to better understand popular topics and your audience's search intent. Google Trends is useful for comparing two or more different terms and seeing how often people search for them over time. Meanwhile, Ahrefs can show you more detailed metrics like keyword volume and traffic potential. These factors help you choose target keywords to use in your content. List all the target keywords that have the potential to attract your chosen audience, then apply them as naturally and strategically as possible to your website content. Avoid keywords without considering their context and readability, which can negatively impact your site's SEO and overall user experience. For a complete guide on how to conduct keyword research, we have a separate video covering it. You will find it in the description below. Another way to make your website SEO-friendly is by using header tags properly. These HTML elements give structure and meaning to a web page's content, making search engines understand them easier. Header tags consist of H1 to H6 HTML elements. Focus on your H1 and H2 tags since they are commonly used for the content's title and leading headings. List your keywords and include them using these tags accordingly. Once you optimize all the H1 tags, include relevant keywords in the other headers. Apply this method consistently to every piece of content you publish to improve your SEO rankings. Over time, search engine crawlers will understand your website's content and accurately index it for relevant content. A clean URL structure is essential for creating an SEO-friendly website. Search engines use URLs to crawl and index websites, so having them tailored to be SEO-friendly helps bot crawlers understand every piece of content on each web page. An SEO-friendly URL should be easy to read, simple to understand, and related to the page's overall context. Plus, it should also include the target keyword. Let's look at an example. Here, the article talks about a comprehensive guide regarding SEO practices, and as you can see, its URL is short, has great readability, and is related to the initial intent. Avoid using long query strings with numbers such as this, as it will make it very hard to read and not as SEO friendly. Anchor texts are clickable words that redirect users to another page or section of a website. When writing content, think of related keywords to the central topic. After that, link other relevant content of your website for each anchor text. For example, in this Hosting Your Tutorials article, our subject is creating an SEO-friendly website. You can see that the anchor text here linked to the What is SEO article. Remember, SEO-friendly anchor text should be relevant to the link page. That way, search engines will have a clear picture of what your content is all about. However, avoid using the same anchor text over and over again. That would be considered keyword stuffing, affecting your site's SEO negatively. 
mobile users contribute nearly 58% of the global website traffic. Google and other search engines consider a website's mobile friendliness crucial when ranking search results. That's why ensuring your website loads quickly on mobile devices is important. Moreover, don't forget to check if the design is responsive, meaning it can adjust to different screen sizes. Fortunately, most ready-to-use themes for WordPress and other popular website platforms are mobile-friendly out of the gate. Use tools like Google's mobile-friendly test to check if your site meets current standards. Optimizing images for SEO helps improve the visibility of your website in search engines. There are several key steps to ensure your images are SEO friendly. First, give each image an appropriate file name. It should include a keyword related to the picture's intent. This will help search engines identify your image's content, leading to better visibility on search engine result pages. Second, reduce the file size of your images before uploading them, as larger files can slow down your page. WordPress users can optimize images by activating caching plugins such as Mush or EWWW Image Optimizer. Third, don't forget to add alt text for each image, a piece of HTML-based text that describes image content. Including this information helps search engines understand the overall context of an image, improving SEO performance. Search engines prioritize fast-loading websites to provide an optimal user experience. A slow website will hurt your SEO efforts, reduce customer satisfaction, and make it harder for search engines to crawl your content. Fortunately, there are several steps you can take to optimize your website. First, get a web hosting plan with higher bandwidth. For example, if you buy Hostinger's business web hosting plan, you'll get unlimited bandwidth enough for small to medium-sized businesses. Grab the 4-year payment bundle for the best deal and don't forget to use the promo code HA10 for an additional discount. Second, compress your images and other media files. Third, use a content delivery network known simply as CDN to distribute images, videos, and other static content across multiple servers worldwide. To see if your site meets these requirements, consider using tools like Google's PageSpeed Insights. From there, you can get suggestions to improve your site's loading speed. Promoting your content on social media platforms is one of the best SEO off-page initiatives. Doing so helps your content reach a wider audience, leading to more potential backlinks. Search engines will index and use these backlinks as a ranking factor for your website. So, more backlinks you get, the better. However, growing your brand through social media requires practical knowledge and skills. That's why understanding your niche and which social media platforms to focus on is important and helps you gain more valuable traffic. For example, Pinterest and Instagram can be effective for specific topics such as fashion and food-related content. Another important aspect of creating an SEO-friendly website is analyzing its core metrics. Website owners can get this information from various analytics tools, including Google Search Console and Google Analytics. Google Search Console will illustrate your site's performance on Google search result pages. The data can help you understand how Google views your content and which queries people use to find it. That way, you can clearly see how much organic traffic you generated. In the long run, it can help you improve your website's visibility based on Google's own guidelines. While it's not directly related to SEO, Google Analytics is also useful for giving you different metrics to help improve your site's overall performance. For example, you can get a report on which pages have the highest bounce rate. This helps you properly assess the possible cause of the problem and take the necessary steps to fix it. Your website's code can become rather chaotic and unsystematic as your website grows. To prevent that, tidy up the site code from time to time. This process also helps search engines index your content effectively and load your site faster. Website code can cover different programming languages, but HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are the three most common and arguably most important languages all inspired web developers should know. Use tools like Dirty Markup, HTML Cleaner, and JS Beautifier to help you with such tasks. 
Internal linking refers to a process of adding hyperlinks to a content piece. It's called internal because it will redirect the other pages on your website. Extending internal links within your site will create a web of interlinked content. That way, search engines can figure out your website structure and the relevance of each page. You can add an internal link to elements like text, images, or buttons. Ensure your content fits a page's overall context, positively affecting the indexing process. Strategic internal linking can also reduce your website's overall bounce rate by letting visitors navigate the site more easily. As a result, your website's engagement might also potentially increase substantially. That said, don't go overboard either, as it will make your site look messy and impact the overall user experience in a negative way. Use tools like Internal Link Juicer, Link Whisper, and Yoast SEO to optimize your internal linking effort. Title tags and meta descriptions are HTML elements that describe the context of a web page. A title tag appears on the search engine result pages as clickable headlines. Meanwhile, a meta description displays short snippets about what readers can expect to find on a page. In this example, the blue sentence is a title tag, while the short description under it is meta description. While working on a title tag, ensure it includes your focus keyword. It should align with the target audience search intent to help content appear on the appropriate search result. Keep your title tags between 50 to 60 characters. This will ensure that they appear properly on the search results, hence having a higher chance of attracting readers. On the other hand, a meta description gives you more space to introduce the content to potential readers. While a meta description's length isn't limited, remember that Google search engine result pages only show 160 characters at maximum. Each meta description should be unique and provide relevant information for your target audience. You can also include long tail keywords to make it more search engine friendly. Try to write a compelling copy of your meta descriptions and show that your content provides value to the reader. Visual elements like images and videos can enrich your content and make it more appealing. Some visuals like graphs and charts also let you present data and communicate messages more effectively. In addition, adding images and videos to your content can boost its SEO. Media files let your content appear on the image and video tab of Google search results, with a higher chance of getting more clicks. Your content can also appear as a rich snippet, which shows more information and is more likely to appear at the top of the search results. Remember to add optimized images and videos to maintain the fast-loading website. Regularly creating new content is a great SEO strategy. However, it can take time to come up with fresh content ideas. In these cases, you can update older content to improve your website's SEO. Changing between updating old content and creating new ones helps maintain visitor attention while potentially attracting new readers. Ensure you create content that fits the current issue to keep your target audience interested. Implementing basic SEO strategies is not enough if you don't provide useful information to your visitors. Write good website content that brings value to your audience, eventually building a great brand reputation. Schema markup is a structured data vocabulary that helps search engines understand your content better. By adding schema markup to your website's code, you provide search engines with clear signs about meaning and context of your content. Hence, it positively affects your site's SEO by enhancing visibility and displaying rich snippets. If you are unfamiliar with the schema markup concept, you might have seen rich snippets showing additional information in the search results. This not only makes your listing more eye-catching, but also increases the chances of attracting clicks. WordPress users can benefit from such SEO plugins as All-in-One SEO or Rank Math to implement schema markup. On the other hand, some website creation platforms offer extensions or built-in options to simplify the process. 
So, you can explore those options or consult an SEO professional to maximize the benefits of schema markup. So that's how you increase your website traffic using these 15 proven SEO tips. If you have other applicable tips or have further questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.